So it's finally here, the Outriders demo, and oh boy, is it fantastic. This is exactly what we needed. This game brought a fresh breath of life due to we, the community, being given all of these broken, buggy, triple A games. Outriders says no. Guys, my name is Brad Han, and welcome to my Outriders demo first impressions. So the Outriders demo gives players access to two story missions and a couple side missions that you can find throughout playing the story. Honestly, we didn't expect much as it is just a demo. I know demos aren't very common anymore, but we do need to remember that demos are usually designed to give players only a taste of what's to come. With this, the game only allows you to go to a maximum of level 7 and a world difficulty of tier 5. The higher the world tier, the tougher the enemies are, but it also means a higher chance of getting better loot and perks. The demo also gives players access to all four classes which are Devastator, Technomancer, Trickster and Pyromancer. The game that you're seeing in the background is a live stream of mine. I jumped into Outriders the second it came out and went live for around eight hours as the Technomancer and I got some pretty awesome loot as well. More of that in another video. Before we get any deeper I just want to say that I love this game so far. Again I know it's a demo but just from that alone I have already fallen in love with it. That being said there are some issues however there are so many positives that outweigh the such very small negatives. So let's get the negatives out the way. When first launching into Outriders on the PC version, you'll find that your typical mouse and keyboard layout is a bit weird in the custom key by menu, which I found myself changing instantly. There are weird things such as pressing Q to change weapons rather than scrolling the mouse wheel, or pressing Z to sprint rather than shift. Again, not a big deal, but a rather strange one for sure. Another really strange find that we came across was that all the cutscenes are locked at 30 FPS, which is extremely noticeable. Regardless of how expensive your PC rig is, the game plunges that FPS down to 30 in every cutscene that there is in the game. And weirdly enough, when interacting with the vendors, that also decreases your FPS to 30 and locks it there until you're done with your interaction. Not too sure if this is deliberate or just a bug in the game, but I'd really like to see if they can change that before the full game's release on April 1st. The worst bug that we have come across so far when playing Outriders is crashing. I do believe that the better rig you have, the less likely chance of crashing you're going to experience. However, you can't escape it. I've got a pretty heavy machine here, and in my entire 8 hours of streaming, I only crashed once. However, friends of mine were getting crashes every 30 minutes or so, still with pretty okay machines that fall well within the recommended requirements for Outriders. Again, I really hope this gets fixed before launch. Other small things such as disconnecting from the game or randomly getting booted from your friend's team can be quite annoying. However, I believe that this is just a server-related issue, which was working in overtime, I'm sure because of the amount of players that were logging into Outriders as soon as the game came out. Those are all of the negatives that I found within this demo, and the only one really that's a big deal is the crashing, which again, I only experienced once. Now for the positives. The voice acting in this game is phenomenal, and you cannot help but feel really invested in both the story and its character development. Everyone feels so unique and different, my favourite being Jakob, who is both hilarious with his attitude and humour, whilst also being really loyal towards you. The gunplay feels absolutely amazing. Nothing feels too heavy or too light. Every gun feels different and it has its own kick to it. And it makes you really want to keep on trying different loadouts every time you pick up something new. What also feels impeccable is the abilities. And this game doesn't hide out all that it wants you to use these abilities as much as possible. The cooldown for your powers is so little that on certain builds you can quite literally spam abilities over and over. And the way that they make this synergize with other classes when playing with friends too is just... Oh, it's just so much fun. For example, my friend Ben was using the Trickster, which has the ability to slow down time in a dome-like bubble. Like I said earlier, I was playing the Technomancer, who has the ability to place down a turret, which fires continuous rockets in a directional line. Ben used his ability to trap enemies and slow them down, whilst I threw my turret in their line of sight and rained hell onto them causing a huge area of effect damage and, of course, huge explosions. Side note, the sound design for this too is just something else. Just wow. As much as the game highly encourages you to use your abilities as much as you can, that doesn't take away from the gunplay at all. Guns feel amazing to shoot at enemies and I can't wait to see what builds I come up with with certain guns in this game. Guns rank in this game the same way they do in Destiny, whereby gold weapons represent exotics, being the best of the best loot you can get, and I may or may not already have one. <laughs> the demo also gives players the chance to go up against some bosses that also will some type of power too. So rather than just going up against enemies with guns, you have the challenge of fighting other foes that are able to conjure up their own crazy combos. Those fights are super fun to play in as well as you really have to change things up in your playstyle such as evading attacks and making sure that you're making the right moves at the right times without getting critically hurt in the process. So let's round up what we have here. 
amazing voice acting, brilliant characters that we as the player genuinely care about, an intriguing story which keeps us invested, fantastic gunplay which encourages you to try new weapons as you pick them up, legendary weapons to chase giving you the purpose to keep running higher level activities so that you can get your hands on these extremely rare weapon types, the most phenomenal abilities that make you feel like an absolute god when using them, and this is all just in the demo. It goes without saying that I am truly in love with Outriders, I intend on sinking more hours into the game so I can bring to you guys all the latest builds and info I can. Guys, if you want to learn more and understand more about the Outriders lore, then go ahead and check out my friend Ben, who already has a lore video about what happened to the Earth and why we are on the planet Enoch. Link in the description below. For more Outriders content, head on over to my channel, whereby I'll be live streaming and posting regular Outriders content there too. Guys, I highly recommend that you give Outriders a go. It is a free demo available on all platforms. And hey, if you do decide to give it a try, let me know what you think in the comment section below. But until then, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.